Good morning guys. I'm here in my room to have some coffee. And my coffee is coffee cup. Right? You know coffee cup? It's made in the Philippines. Yeah, it's a brown coffee. Yeah. This is the first thing I do every morning. Drinking coffee, hot coffee. And then I'm going to tear it. Ah, I don't know where to start here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to open this one. Oh dear, dear. There's this a thumbs, a pin. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Drinking coffee. It makes my day. Without coffee. The whole day will be lousy. I drink two cups of coffee. And I'm going to steer it. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Ah. How about you? Are you done with your coffee? You should. Because coffee is good for the heart. Not so much. If you drink uh, one or two, 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 two mugs like me, it's good. But after I'm done with my second cup, sometimes I want to want more. But my daughter nurse always stop me and introduce Milo drink for, for night because she said that uh, if you over drink coffee the caffeine uh, there is a side effect on you you might have a heart attack or your heart will palpitate too fast and uh, you know what will be the end result so you drink coffee moderately anything will be moderately done Okay? Mm. By the way, uh, our, my topic for today is all about COVID-19 again. Because, uh, because uh, of the present situation right now that everybody is being affected by COVID despite uh, uh, so many days gone already. And uh, and still, and still, uh, many still die of COVID-19. The percentage show here in America there is a a, a huge a huge uh, uh, number of death, and also in the Philippines and also in some other countries. So we should be extra careful must save life so we must wear masks at all times the latest and um, the most strat uh what they call this one affected by covid is one of our blogger who died recently lloyd cafe cadena he didn't die of uh of uh of a uh, stroke or or cardiac arrest it comes from COVID-19 because he got COVID-19 and that caused the cardiac arrest. So you will not die. Cancer is also like that. You will not die of cancer. You will die of complication. You will die of complication. Nobody will tell you that because that's the latest. If not, nobody died of COVID ever since, right? Do you agree with me? It died because of its root cause. The root cause is COVID-19. 
when they die, they die of heart attack or any other uh, disease that originate from COVID-19. That's the thing is. So be extra careful when uh, attending a gathering, a large gathering. A small gathering is okay. According to the government, five, group of five or maximum of ten is good already. Because you can have an equal distancing in a, in a small area. Even in, this, in a huge area, it's not advisable because you know what? It, it is airborne. It is airborne up to six feet. Six feet or in uh, other measurement, it's about uh, how many meters that in, uh, in feet? I don't know. All I know is uh, English, English measurement, uh, six feet. Okay, now to avoid this disease, you must wear the mask, the face shield, uh, social distancing, observe it, social distancing, and eat a lot of fresh vegetables on a daily basis. That is the good thing about that. The, veg, the good thing about vegetable, fresh, green, leafy vegetable. You will notice when you eat green leafy vegetable, when you do some something early in the morning, you feel something is wrong. So you have to go to the washroom and discharge it. And you will see after eating green leafy vegetable or any vegetable, most especially the green one, the side effect is to take all those black things out. You notice that. And also water. When you drink water and you are constipated, drink more water in the morning. Two glasses or just even a glass of water and you will feel uh, relief and it will calm down. But the night before you, you sleep, you drink a glass of water, also same thing happen. And when you drink a glass of water, before you sleep or before you go to bed, the, the good thing about what will happen is you will go at the middle of the night to the washroom. Right? One thing. How are you going to have a heart attack? Because you're going, you're going to get up. You're going to get up and go to the washroom. Unless you, you, you pee in the bed. If you are resident, that's the thing that you are going to do because uh, you cannot walk, you cannot get up by yourself. So you need some assistance. Okay? But the problem is, uh, at the middle of the night, even in the nursing home or in the hospital, uh, you got to have a problem of calling something. Somebody will help you to go to the washroom because everybody is sleepy. And it's only natural. Oh, come on. Tell that to the Marines. Everybody's sleepy during the night, most especially in the middle of the night. Don't tell it. Oh, you have to go to be alert. You have to be awake all night. We are human beings. We are not machine. And even machine broke down. Agree? Yeah. So you have to drink a water, a glass of water because you will be dehydrated once you don't drink water. You will have to drink water. And that's the good thing about that. And coffee too, right? Ah, come on, take a glass of, uh, a cup of coffee. You join me. Join me in this cup of coffee. Huh? Hmm. And also one thing more, when you see that uh, there is uh, in your feet and you have got already COVID, you take a look at your feet or somebody must look at your feet or your legs. If turn bluish, that's a sign, uh, early sign of there will be a heart attack and it is an emergency. You have to call the doctor, you have to call the nurse. Okay, 
If you are in the house or in your home, you have to call 911 because that is early sign. If not, you ask the doctor about the early sign of heart attack. Okay? It's better to do it than be sorry because be sorry and late will means what? Mortality or death. I hope you, I hope I gave, I share you some information because I am a COVID-19 survivor that was last May this year, 2020, in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin Hospital. I like to share on what happened to me. I was dying. I was dying on my third day in hospital. I stayed in the hospital for 11 days. Um, they changed a the doctor. An older doctor was changed by a new doctor. Um, an active doctor, a very energetic doctor. Because he's still young. You cannot blame the, the older doctor or the aged doctor. So they introduced me uh, during that day when this severe. I was so weak and the doctor told me if I am willing to take Rendisivir. I know I was dying because my, my mind is still okay, still working, but I feel very weak. And I told the doctor, yes, doctor, give me the papers. I'm going to sign everything. I have no choice. I have no choice. I don't, I don't think that there will be more money so I could, I could buy it. But the, the, the thing is, I have to do it. Sign the papers because I am one of the 50,000 trial patients during those times in the month of May. There is no still medication to cure the COVID-19. Unlike now, there is already a medic medication. And that's one, one, one medication is Rendisivir, a very powerful, effective one. Effective. Because the moment they administer you a medication, one just, just one only, you will get up early in the morning by, as if nothing happened. I guarantee you because I am one of those recipients. And then the other, the other, uh, the, the continuation of that relationship I follow, uh, I think uh, it's good for uh, six days, one, one dose a day. It is through IV, through IV. So I, I guarantee you that once you are given severe, everything will be okay in just 24 hours or less than 24 hours. I guarantee you that. So severe saved my life. And I'm very thankful to that, to that doctor that I was able to be one of those uh, lucky patients that receive uh, the patient. You, you hear that? That's an emergency for our, our home, just like in a nursing home or hospital. Yeah, when somebody escape, it will alarm. Or somebody want to get in, in this, in this house, yeah, it will alarm. So nobody can get and can get out if the alarm is up. So that's a good thing about this. So this this uh, this uh, room or this facility or this house is computerized. There is also a camera all over. Yeah, and the police will come to help immediately, or even the fire department because there is also a smoke alarm here, and you will. Yeah, that's a, the good thing about it, this uh, house that we, that my daughter and my other children, and other child bought. Uh, it's all computerized, and we have all the computers here, as you could see. Yeah, two computers each, and too many cell phones because we are all, all uh, uh, IT worker. Uh, I was there in the Philippines for 
for many years and I worked in PLDT for 26 years as a computer maintenance uh, engineer and, and that's the good thing about it and I, and I owe it to, the, to the, my manager in PLDT in our department uh, Mrs. L.B. Veneventura shout out to Miss L.B. Veneventura my boss even she's not my boss anymore I still owe her something because she she inspired me she helped me to grow and be thankful to those people who are doing that share you information because information is hard for for you to buy it outside sometimes you buy it and and there are some mistakes so many mistakes and there's so, so many errors like my boss is Mrs. L.B. Veneventura, a retired one like me. Oh my God, she is very good. Uh, very good. PLDT Manila. But I worked in PLDT Bacolod, Philippines. So all, you, all of you guys, be careful with COVID-19. Because uh, it will be too late if we don't. It will cause you death. Uh, as I told you, one of our bloggers with a million subscribers in the Philippines, Lloyd Cafe Cadena, passed recently, about last week only. And uh, she's, I, he, I think he's overweight. He's only 26 years old. Imagine that. 26 years old. And the way I look at him, he's very strong, but uh, maybe he's suffering from diabetic. So all those people with uh, suffering from diabetic, be extra careful. Be extra careful because you are number one target of COVID-19. With high blood pressure, you are too. High blood pressure, uh, diabetic, diabetic causes many things. You can have a heart attack. You could have a high blood pressure. You could have a kidney problem. Any, any organ will be affected by, by being a diabetic. Type 2. I am type 2. Yes, I'm telling you. Although it's some kind of privacy, but I'm telling you just to share this information. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. But just to share this information but I am right now I'm healthy I'm controlling myself I drink two liters of water a day uh, uh, I eat only small part small part a, a rice is only one or two teas two tablespoon of rice uh, sometimes no more especially at night I don't need to eat at night because what you're going to sleep why do you need to to eat so much that is I don't know why, why people eat so much during at night. During my younger years, I eat, yes, because I don't know. Now I know I have to. Because learning, learning is a very good for all of us, more especially this pandemic years. It started January until now. It's still ongoing. So they say that Little learning is a dangerous thing that comes from uh, uh, when I was studying literature, yes. I don't know, it's, uh, it's uh, Shakespeare who did, who, who, who say that. Little learning is a dangerous thing. Do you, do you agree? I hope so, you agree. Because just look, if your leader or head of the family is has little learning uh, being a leader he's being followed by many people or by many members of the family and he doesn't know anything the thing is just he is the pilot of the airplane what will happen the plane will crash or the or the captain of the ship the ship will sunk will sink and so this one is uh, needed for being a leader and uh, being a leader uh, they, they, she or she needs support because 
he will consolidate, assess all this information, and put into one. That is teammanship. Right? You agree? You agree too. I just, thank you for for going with me. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, I spent so much time, but uh, I'm very, very, uh, very uh, uh, worried about this ongoing pandemic. Okay. I hope you like this, this video because it's very important. It's very vital. It's very, very necessary for all of us. So I could share this. You share it to me too, what you have in mind. So I could correct if ever I made a mistake. But right now, it's come from the many assessment from COVID-19. And I hope you do extra careful. Wear a mask, wear a shield. If you are, if you have a face shield, you wear it too. Wash hand. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That's it. And social distancing. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. You like, uh, share, and make comment. Okay? Thank you so much. God bless us all. God save us from this pandemic. We are still lucky. We are still alive right now. Right? Okay. God bless you all. Till next my, till next my blog. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye.